Hello everyone, this is Chisom Obona right here with another interesting tutorial video. So in today's class, we are going to learn to recreate this on Pixel. We're going to learn the exact way or uh, exact process I took for me to get or arrive at this result. All right, so um, first things first, we have this, we clear our background, okay? The size we would be using today is 3000 by 3000 okay so after you've done that we can go ahead and import the background we are going to use okay so i have them in my download here so um this is it this is the first one it's the first background so you just um bring it to pixel lab and then increase the size like so all right just follow me carefully all right so i don't want the video to be too long that's why i'm kind of rushing everything right now okay so um then the next thing we bring in the second image we're going to be using which is this one okay so yeah this is the second image we are going to be using so we have to copy it okay click on copy copy it and then bring it down here like so all right so just follow me follow everything i'm doing all right so you position this like this then you lock this guy you lock it so it won't be it won't affect you from repositioning the rest of them all right, so we i think we slightly need to increase the sizes okay also this one let's slightly increase the size too so we have something like this yeah yeah it's okay now so you lock everything then you come to this one you you know if you watch most of my videos you see i love affecting uh, I, I love using this color filter okay i love adding a bit of um you know uniformity between the i want the colors to rhyme to be in uniform okay so i'm going to have to adjust this a little bit okay then you reduce saturation just to blend the two backgrounds okay to make this one kind of blend with this one too all right so let's proceed all right let me kind of take this up yeah so the next thing we do is to bring in the images or the mod images all right so i have them here and please you can check the description for the images i'm going to be using for this particular video okay check the description for the images i'm going to be using for those videos all right so yeah uh, let's proceed please also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel very important subscribe to my youtube channel so you, you you have to rotate this like so all right so we want to want to replicate exactly what we have here so let me use this okay i want to properly align everything so this one has to be like this yeah so this one like so and yeah okay we almost have the same result so um just to change something so now the biggest one we have to come to the front so when you click on it you click on to front all right to front so we have something like this all right then we want to add a shadow because obviously it looks like it doesn't look real okay it doesn't look real and the idea of a manipulation is to depict reality okay depict realism all right so uh, with that we are going okay so um we proceed we want to add a shadow just to you know add this realism to it so we click on draw here see draw here you increase the pen size to 105 then increase the radius uh, code <laughs> increase the radius to blur radius to the highest which is 25 then you click on the background like so all right then you drag it from this end okay you want to you don't just want to do any how thing you want to make it look real all right that's the idea so you you take it down did you see what i did i just dragged from this end if you if you drag from any other end it will not screw okay so you have to drag from this end all right take it to the back of the mold right so you leave it here okay now it looks like a shadow is there okay then i'm going to copy the shadow i'm going to copy it and leave it here too okay then another thing i want to do is to re-edit this mold okay i want to decrease the brightness and then increase the contrast okay you see the look now it's it's looking real good <laughs> okay okay so um yeah just effect the change on all of them all right so we are good to go right the next thing we import is um it's more like a billboard <laughs> okay or a signpost uh, whichever one you choose to call it so i have downloaded it already this is it here all right so just leave it here and slightly distort it or rotate it all right we are going to leave it here 
so let me see let me see i want to you know we are using this i want to get exactly the same thing i did so we are going to be using this okay so i think i didn't i didn't later distort it uh, that was the initial plan to distort it but i guess it didn't really work out the way i wanted it to okay so remember my doings we have to um kind of make it align okay make the color align with themselves okay to create this connection between the visual element all right so we have this now the next thing we do is to bring in the logo okay i want to introduce the logo now so you see the design is actually really simple <laughs> really really simple okay so this logo you come to erase color here and just on it enable it then increase the tolerance okay increase it so that it removes all the background okay all the white background all right then you you leave it here okay that's the malt logo all right so when you do that the next thing you do is to is to what <laughs> okay is to introduce the other visual elements i used okay yeah, or something like this okay so you introduce this we are taking it to the back for this one we are taking it to the back and then you copy it you copy it and bring it down here all right yeah did you see that so do it exactly the way i did it okay so you have something like this oh the design is really looking good i think it's looking better than the first one i created okay so the next thing we do is to um let me see let me see is to what is to what let's drag this guy up a bit let's drag this guy up a bit so let's see everything clearly so the next thing we do is to write malta guinness all right before we start adding the lightning effect malta guinness malta guinness malta guinness malta guinness <laughs> okay so we have malta guinness okay malta guinness <clears throat> okay then you have to align it to the center like so so i don't want this video to be too long that's why i'm kind of hurrying okay so i hope you're following if it's too fast you can just reduce the pace there on youtube right so you come to font the font we are going to use is called spooky or spooky brush spooky brush right then you come to line space in here you decrease the line spacing you increase it you decrease the line spacing more okay so when you have the malta guinness um the next thing you do is to add a drop shadow okay so the drop shadow when you click on it you come to opacity reduce the opacity normally you, you get the opacity at 100 you reduce it like so then the blur reduce should be normally it should be 10 so you have to reduce it to four all right or five anyone then you come to normally this is supposed to be zero okay you just drag it to four and then make this one three all right for your drop shadow so when you've achieved that the next thing you add is to add some ray from here i want a, a kind of some rays to kind of reflect on this bottle here okay to give it this kind of photoshopic feel so i have just the right um element for that i have just the right element for that uh it should be in my downloads and then just go down i'm going to as i said earlier i'm going to leave the resources in the description okay then you come to erase color you enable the erase color then this is your color picker here you use the color and pick this use the color pick and pick this color here then you you drag it okay when you pick the color okay you increase the tolerance increase it to like 40 47 50 52 okay 54 is okay or 55 54 let's leave it at 54 then when you do that you come to eraser here this is your eraser okay you enable the brush this is the brush the or the eraser actually then you clean up this side clean up this side clean up this side just do exactly what i did please don't touch the inside of don't touch here please okay do exactly what i did all right just clean up the sides then you bring it back okay when you bring it back you copy it then when you copy it you align the both of them the same place okay they should just make sure you align the both of them well enough okay one should be on top of the other okay then you merge the two of them imagine you have to you have to come here click here click on the ones you are gonna merge and then click back here and okay it all right when you okay it you uh, okay let's wait for it so we've okay it now then we drag it here we bring it here all right like so just like so and then you come here and kind of adjust the color or maybe probably you should just leave the color because i'm still going to 
I'm still going to adjust, adjust the color there on Snapseed. All right. So uh, yeah, just like so. Okay. Then we are almost done. We actually done with the design. Just to add this guy here. This last person we are going to add this particular guy here. So not really necessary though. But um, let's just add it there because the original design, the one I first created, has it. Okay. So you have something like this, and your design is ready. Then you can come here and save up your work ultra right so when you when you save up your work it's rendering it's rendering so let's go for it so it has saved i suppose <laughs> okay so it has saved so let's go to snap cd here okay this is the this is the design here then you click on pop that's the first thing you do click on pop right then you come to white balance add this a bit okay just increase the temperature a bit okay want to give it that beach feel right you come to detail go to saturation just slide up okay go to saturate go to sharpening not saturation sharpen it 200 then come down to structure and reduce the structure reduce the structure to this so when you do that you come back to tune image the warmth here you kind of increase it a bit okay the shadow this is shadow okay this is shadow so you add up you reduce the shadow right you reduce the shadow like so when you reduce the shadow you come to warmth you add temperature a bit or warmth a bit you add this to maybe probably 10 okay okay so when you've done that um right you come back let's let, i think i need to add contrast yeah contrast then what else can i add no nothing else okay highlight yeah highlight just a bit of highlight probably five five is okay then you export your work your work is ready to be exported so that's just it how to create an amazing poster on pixel lab right so you have your design looking real good right so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell for subsequent videos i'll be dropping weekly right thank you so much for watching this